we looked at a population model, the logistic population model, and we solved it, but we also saw how we could analyze the differential equation without actually solving it. In this section, we're going to expand upon that kind of analysis. And we'll start with a few elementary definitions. A differential equation is called autonomous. If it has the form dx dt equals f of x. In other words, a first derivative equals a function of the dependent variable. Our independent variable here is t. It does not appear on the right-hand side of this equality. So something like dx dt equals the sine of x. Compare that to a non-autonomous differential equation. dx dt equals t times the sine of x. You see our independent variable is t. Here there aren't any t's on the right. That makes it autonomous. Here there is a t on the right. That makes it non-autonomous. And at least in theory, we know how to solve any autonomous differential equation. If we have dx dt equals f of x, this is a separable differential equation. You could write 1 over f of x dx equals dt. And then try to integrate. In practice, though, integration is often difficult or impossible. I mean, there's no particular reason you should be able to take this integral. So even if we can solve these theoretically, we might not be able to solve them in practice. In this section, we're going to introduce an alternative way of analyzing autonomous differential equations. And to do that, we're going to need the following definition. Suppose we have an autonomous differential equation. Then a value x sub zero is called a fixed point if f of x sub zero equals zero. And where does this terminology come from? Why a fixed point? Well, the easiest way to visualize an autonomous differential equation is a number line. So you've got your value x, and as time passes, we go up 
or down the number line and how we move up or down the number line depends on f of x because f of x is the derivative it's the rate of change if f of x is positive we're moving to the right if f of x is negative we're moving to the left. If f of x is zero, if the rate of change is zero, we're not moving at all. So fixed comes from the fact that if x equals x sub zero, then as time passes, x stays at x sub zero. It's fixed here, it doesn't move. In previous sections, we saw examples of that when we were analyzing the logistic population model, extinction was a fixed point and the carrying capacity was a fixed point. And in this section, we're going to learn how to classify and how to analyze fixed points and how to study autonomous differential equations using fixed points.